whatever you do, you have to do it because you love to do it. And if mm -hmm. it's forced upon you, you're ultimately not going to be happy. So yeah. it's about doing something you're happy doing and enjoying it. And you know, and get, enjoy it. <laughs> getting the most out of you, out of yourself. Yeah. Johnny Gregoric moving down the outside there. The same name as his father. It was a 352 miler back in the 80s. It's not like you have to be like your parents. They've had their successes and they had their fun and their journey. Um, and now they know that we can have this commonality of, uh, of competing at, at such a high level. My name's Johnny Gregoric and I'm a professional distance runner running for ASICS. I would say that my success has kind of had a unique arc to it in relation to both my parents who were professional runners themselves. I come from a, a family of runners. Um, I mean, my dad himself was on two Olympic teams, um, 1980 and 1984, and he was a 351 miler. And my mom was a NCAA champion. Depending on who you ask, people will say Johnny looks and runs exactly like my husband John. Other people will say he looks and runs exactly like I do. The concern that he might be compared to to his mom and dad and, and the success that they had and would that be you know un, unfair people would ask you know hey well do you think you'll be a professional runner like your parents or do you think you'll be an olympian like your parents and i would say i hope to this day running four minutes for the mile is still considered a, a you know a feat that most people can understand there's just so much history to the event such an interesting combination of speed and strength and there's no room for error and I would have been horrified if my coach ever put me in the mile. It's such a competitive professional race and it just requires everything from a runner and I think that that's uh, it's kind of it's kind of running epitomized almost in in one distance. You know if I'm gonna be a professional runner I always thought that the mile is, is where I want to is where I want to be. I always thought I had the potential to be, to be at this level, but um, a lot of things were kind of holding me back confidence-wise. Sometimes you find a lot of runners are not very confident people, and they're, they sort of express themselves through their running. And for me, that was probably pretty true. I think most athletes would say they battle those demons, you know, at one point in their career or another. I'm someone who was you could say you could call it being a late bloomer. You could call it being you know someone who just needed more time to develop. You know you tell yourself that oh I think I could be a, a runner on the international level and I think I could make these teams and, and run these times. But um, in the back of your head you kind of you don't fully fully believe it. And I think that this was this past year is the turning point at least. I've worked with a sports psychologist and I've worked with my coaches and have been able to kind of turn around my whole my whole psyche and I think that it, you know there was a couple months there where I was I was truly convinced I could I could be one of the best runners in the world and um, that's the reason why in that in that race in Sacramento I was I said enough is enough so this will be a one for the ages I'm sure so 200 meters to run now brilliant brilliant running Chris Johnny Gregoric takes third place I know his dad will be punching the air his father is a great miler his son is a fabulous miler as well the US track and field championships in Sacramento um, I ran the 1500 there this past June that was a, a huge turning point in my career and by the time the bell lap came I was still in 10th place and everyone was really flying the last hundred 50 meters came around and I was just thinking to myself, you know, be furious, be furious, do this. I definitely uh, went to another level of, you know, focus and concentration and just went went wild there and, and, and was able to, to get the last spot on the team. It was a race where he really maxed out his potential on the day and to see the time that he ran was pretty phenomenal as well. People came up to me at the time and said, you realize that makes you and Johnny the fastest father and son combination ever. It looks very effortless. He looks like a deer, I think, when he runs. It just comes naturally to him. I just say to myself, be furious, you know what I mean? It's just have this, have this intensity and, and just let everything, you know, let all that, all that emotion out, let, you know, all that desire out and just, uh, and completely, you know, go for it. 
you know, walking in here and thinking about all, all the running I've done and how I've changed as a runner and how this whole time it's been a kind of a process of taking pressure off of myself. I feel like everyone always asks us if, if you put pressure on me or if I felt pressure from my community, but that's never really been the case. It's always been me, you know, being competitive with myself. Yeah. 